And this life, my brothers, is a challenge. This life is a continuous battle between good and evil. And this challenge will continue, my brother, to the day you die. Abdullah ibn al-Imam Ahmad, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal, Abdullah his son, he says, I was there when my father was dying. Abdullah is narrating the story. He says, I was there when my father was dying. He says that my father was going through this state of Sakarat al maut Conscious, then unconscious, then conscious, then unconscious. He says that when my dad was conscious, he says, La bad, la bad. No, not yet. No, not yet. Then my father lost consciousness. So Abdullah says, I became worried. What does my father mean by no, not yet? No, not yet. He said, I feel that maybe he did that. He says, I feel maybe my father does not want to leave this dunya. He said, maybe that's why he's saying no, not yet. He says, so I waited anxiously next to my father, hoping and praying that he would wake up. Then when he woke up, I asked him, my father, why were you saying la ba'd, la ba'd? Why are you saying no, not yet, no, not yet? He said, my son, shaitan is standing in front of me and he's biting on his fingernails and he's saying, Ahmed, you slipped out of my hands. Ahmed, you slipped out of my hands. So I said to him, no, not yet. Not until I'm dead is the battle between you and I finished. He says, no, not yet. This battle between us and shaitan, my brothers, is still the death. And the ulama say that at the moment of your death, shaitan will focus his full attention on you. And many of us, we think, brother, I'm going to be okay, relax, man. Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm Muslim. Brother, Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim. I will pass, inshallah. How come we have this confidence? And Imam Ahmed said, no, not yet. He did not have the confidence that you and I have. Shaykh ibn Islam, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he says and he speaks about this particular incident. And he says, my brother, that at the moment of your death, Shaitan will dedicate 100% of his attention on you. And he will not leave you until you commit kufr before you die. So many of us now we think, brother, it's okay, I will pass inshallah. My brother, now we are young and strong and healthy and capable. And shaitan gives me 3% of his attention and I fail the test. A woman walks by and what happens? What happens? Some music comes on, we start doing these ones. Fajr Namaz is being called and you hear the call. Where are we? Shaitan is giving you 5% and we fail every day. But we are foolish enough to think that when he gives me 100%, I'm going to pass. My brothers, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. My brothers, I tell you sincerely, that if we die in the state that we are in, we have big problems. Big problems.